Hi guys, my name is Paul Brun and welcome to another edition of the Bavarian Corner. And I am making this video for the BMW Club of Ottawa. About a month ago, or a little over a month ago, I got a chance to drive the BMW M2 from BMW Canada. It was a press car that was given to us uh, for us to use for our driving school and I'm finally uh, able to... Um, I finally was able to get a chance to edit the videos and uh, you know upload it to YouTube. It took a month. Unfortunately, things got in the way in terms of private life. But I just wanted to give you an update on the, uh, the BMW Club. We finally uh, got a chance to print some BMW Club jackets for various members. We got a group buy going for some uh, jackets for the fall, and I just wanted to give you a chance to take a look at them. So right here, I just picked them up earlier today, and as you can see, we had three colors. There was a navy, black, and a gray jacket, and this is uh, what the jacket looks like. So, ah, hold on, let me... So as you can see, this is a sort of a hoodie. This is the navy version. And we embroidered the BMW Club of Ottawa logo on the left breast pocket. But um, yeah, uh, 24 members, or uh, 24 jackets were ordered. And they will be getting these jackets uh, within the next month. So if you see these jackets flying around Ottawa, it comes from the club, BMW Club of Ottawa. But anyway, enough about the club and uh, these jackets. Uh, we'll be doing more online sales as we get a chance to explore what we can give you guys um, on the store. So pay attention to the BMW Club of Ottawa website and updates on our uh, Instagram, Instagram, Instagram account and on Facebook when we expand the online store. It does take time. We are a group of volunteers, so you know we do have jobs that take up of our that take up our time. And um, if you want to help out, or if any of you want to help out with the BMW Club in organizing uh, various aspects of the online store, finding for fulfillment centers for different products, uh, please let me know. Um, we'd love to hear from you. And we'd love to have you help us uh, help the club expand. So anyway, let's dive in right into the M2 vlog. Hi guys, my name is Paul Brun. Welcome to the Bavarian Corner. And I am heading to BMW Laval to pick up the M2 press car for the upcoming July driving school. So. Uh, yeah, this is what's happening today. Uh, it is 9.23 in the morning, and I am uh, on my way to uh, Montreal. I'm just leaving Ottawa, so uh, enjoy the scenery as I drive up there, and I will talk to you, and I'll check in with you guys once I'm at the dealership. All right, cheers.
are at BMW Laval. So let's check in and get our M2 and see what the car is all about. So let's see if we find that M2. Oh, there it is. Give you a closer look at it later when we're outside of the dealership, but it has the carbon fiber tips. I don't know if you can tell, it sort of has this speckly black paint. It's like a sapphire type of look to it. I'm just gonna put uh, back up my stuff. Wowzers. Nice. I think we're gonna have fun in this car for the next couple days. So let's see if we can do a cold. No, well, I don't think it'll be a cold startup. But let's give it a try anyway. Nice uh, cold startup sound. <sighs> so, yeah, we're gonna do another cold startup uh, fresh in the morning. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But uh, for now. I gotta look for a Starbucks before the trip home. So, um, yeah, well, let's uh, find a Starbucks and see what kind of shenanigans we can get into with this car. I'm just teasing, no shenanigans. This car does not have Apple CarPlay enabled, so unfortunately, I won't be able to showcase Apple CarPlay. Uh, you'd think that's one of the things that should be enabled by default, but a Apparently it is not enabled on uh, this M2, so yeah, um, in order to take advantage of Waze, I just have my phone, you know, set up in front of the nav screen. I could use the nav screen, but then I wouldn't be informed of um, police, you know, presence on the route, and as you can tell, there is one on the bridge just leaving Montreal right here. series, 5 series, 
going to have to hook up the blue, the uh, GoPro uh, to show you the true acceleration time combined with the lap timer that's in this car. It is absolutely mind-boggling how quickly this uh, this car accelerates. It's I just have to say, wow. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed part one of the M2 experience. I'm probably going to generate about three of logs out of this because if I were to put it all together, uh, it would be more than a half hour. I had about six days with the M2, three of which were around the Calabogie Motorsport Park. So there's some content there of people that I'm giving rides to and a few other things, uh, including my Mustang experience. Please uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I really appreciate it if you can subscribe. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about my uh, project car, the uh, 325i. Uh, yes, I have been kind of late with uh, some of my videos, but uh, there's a good reason for that. I haven't really been doing much with the car over the summer. I took the leather out of the car, as you probably saw in the previous video, and sent it to Mary Claro. And I should be picking up the products that he developed within the next week or so. And I still have about three more vlogs on the back burner that I got to edit and push out to my website about the um, 325i project. But they are coming. It is a slow process, and I'd really appreciate your support if you can help me uh, get to the Bavarian Autosport uh, show and shine, which is in October of 2019. And I'm going to include a link in the, Go in the description for the GoFundMe page. It will go a long way to making sure I can meet my deadline for October 2019. I still have to put the car together. I got to pick up carpet for the car. I did find another parts car out in um, in Hamilton uh, that I put a deposit on and I'll be picking it up a little later in September. So that brings me to two parts cars uh, for the 325i project and I also have to pick up some audio equipment as well. Uh, so that includes the head units, speakers, speaker wires, a backup camera. I am going to modernize the car a bit to showcase that older cars can be modernized. I'm hoping you can continue the journey with me on my project and I hope you do enjoy these uh, videos that I'm producing for the BMW Club of Ottawa. So again, subscribe, like the video, Give it a thumbs up, and if you have any comments, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. I'd appreciate your feedback, and uh, also your support in the GoFundMe page. Keep in mind that 50% of the proceeds uh, that I collect on the GoFundMe page will go directly to cancer research, as my dad passed away from lung cancer back in 1997. Uh, hope you enjoy the channel, and I'll catch up with you next time. Thanks.